using the autofill feature. And I'll actually explain this later why this is, did not work. So let's go back. I'll explain this on the absolute references in a little bit. So now it works. And the reason is because we are using an absolute reference, we are referring to this value here, and I'll explain that shortly. So um, the other thing that you can do here is uh, let's go back to the values the way they were. So instead of using the reference, we'll use just 12 for simplicity and not being confused. So here is uh, G12, that'll be annual net income. G23 times 12. Drag this down and that's the net income for everyone. Now, let's get rid of these. And let's say you want, we wanted to divide this per week, so pay per week, so we can learn about division. So now the pay per week, remember, this is the total for, for the annual, and we want to divide that for each week. So a year has 52 weeks. So what we do here is we press the equal sign, the number divided, so the annual income divided by 52. And then we hit enter. And the same, we can drag this down. And then the last one, Bill Ellen, since he's making $90,000 or $100,000 a year, he is making around $2,000 a month, or actually per week here. So that's the division. Now keep in mind for multiplication like we did here and division and also subtraction, notice there is no function that you need to include because for these other guys here, for these other references here, if you remember, we had to include the actual function, the max and so on. For, uh, for um, subtraction, multiplication and dividing, you don't need to use those. And again, keep in mind that subtraction is the minus sign, multiplication the asterisk, and dividing is the slash. Welcome back to learning about Excel and some of the concepts in Excel. In this session, I'm going to cover some of the basic uh, components and doing some basic calculations using Excel. What I have here is a predefined worksheet, or actually a spreadsheet, with a bunch of worksheets. So notice I have one tab called Basic Calculations, Data Filtering, and all types of other stuff. So what I have on these cells is that I have different types of data. The data here is basically either text, or numbers, so it's just a matter of typing something here in each one of those cells. Okay, so at this point, what we are going to do is we're going to figure out how to add those numbers up using a formula, because the benefit and the advantage of using Excel is the use of formulas. So here's one thing to keep in mind as you're dealing with spreadsheets. It doesn't matter what application you're using, they all pretty much use the same concept here. So usually all formulas in Excel start with an equal sign. That's how the computer knows that this, uh, what you're entering there, it's a formula, it's going to be a calculation of some sort. Then there is the function. We'll learn about functions shortly. For example, sum. So it would be equal sign, S-U-M, and then the starting point for your range. So it could be B1 all the way to uh, B10, and then close parentheses. So you have the equal sign, the function, then the starting point in your range, colon, and then the end point in your range. This is one of the key concepts. It's very important that we remember this in our study of Excel. So now let's go to, uh, back to Excel here. So let's say we want to add all of these numbers up. There are a couple ways of doing it. One of them is by using the auto sum function right here. But uh, I want to show you how you can calculate and enter this calculation by using the uh, formula. So like we said earlier, it starts with the equal sign. Then we start with 
the starting point, which is actually the next thing that we add here is sum, S-U-M, then open parentheses, and then we type C5, colon, C13. So we want to start on C5 and then end on C13. Then we close parentheses. And then we hit enter. So the total of all of these numbers is 1386 at this point. Notice that's the formula that we are using. So that was one way to enter the formula. Now another way to enter the formula is by using the equal sign, the function, and then open parentheses, and then just drag the mouse over the range where you want to select the numbers. So from the starting point to the end, and then you let the mouse go. Then hit enter. And notice we get the same values. Now one other cool thing here with Excel is that, and this is where the power of Excel comes in, that uh, you can change one of those values from 100 to 200. And notice what will happen as soon as I hit enter. It will change the total automatically. So the next thing what you can do here is, of course, you can use the automated calculation from here from the toolbar under the editing tab. And then in there, for example, we want to add all these numbers. You can click on auto sum here or just click on the drop down and choose sum. And now Excel will try to figure out as to what you want to calculate. However, you have to be very careful as to what the program is selecting because sometimes you may not want just like that way. You want it to a different range. So that's why I wanted to show you the other method first, the manual way. So hit enter here and this will be calculated and coming to 1972. The manual way, which is what I actually recommend to get used to this, is equal the function, sum, and then select the range. Even the one that is blank, make sure you select it because at some point you might add a number in there and then it will give you the total here once we hit enter. So if I added something in that blank one, because I had it in the range, it's going to calculate correctly. So that's a couple ways of entering the formulas to add a bunch of numbers up. So again, equal, sum. Notice if you don't put the parentheses, what happens? So equal, sum, open parentheses, and select the range. Now, you'd say, well, why can't I always use this drop-down from here? The reason for that is because in the next version of Excel, that might not be available, or in OpenOffice, that might not be available, or in Google Docs, if you're using the, the sheets in uh, Google Docs, that may not be available the same way, like with the button there. So you need to know the logical way of how to do this. The other reason is because if I go and I want to put the total for this column back here, if I click on the auto sum, the computer does not know or it's not picking the right range here. So notice it's picking these numbers. So what you can do is you can select the range with the mouse and then hit enter. And notice we have now the total back here. So the idea is that you can, in any cell, you can reference other cells. Again, you would not put each number manually here, like 300, 500. Always put the reference for that number, so C5, the address, because you can change the numbers at any point and then those values will be updated automatically. So now at this point, let's learn another trick here. So let's say, let's say that I wanted to put the, the totals for these other numbers in here. There's a feature called autofill here. So instead of you having to enter the formulas for each one of those, they're all exactly the same. What you can do is you hold the mouse on the bottom right, and when it changes to a little plus sign, the thin one, not the thick plus signs, so not, not like that, but this kind, then you drag it to the right. And that will give you the totals appropriately. And the way it works is that you can use this from left to right or from top and down. For example, if I wanted to get the total here, let's say I have the first formula here. So in this case, the formula would be equal. Let's say I wanted to get the total for training for all the months. I would have the equal sign, then the function sum, and then the starting range and the end range. So C3 through E5. Hit enter, notice it comes with 800. 
Instead of me entering these values or 